To determine if a number is divisible by eight, all we simply need to do is look at the last three digits. If those last three digits are zero, 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 or a number divisible by eight, the whole number is divisible by eight. Now, obviously the last three digits of this example can't be zero, because then they'd just be zero, 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 right? So let's go and see, how can we determine if 392 is divisible by eight? There's a couple ways we could look at that. We could think about multiples of eight, but another way I like to think about it is dividing by eight is the same thing as dividing by two, three times. Dividing by two cubed, or two cubed is equal to eight. So if I can take this number and divide it by two, three times, and I get a value there, then I know that 392 is divisible by eight. So let's go ahead and work through this. If I divide it by two one time, right, just taking this, divided by two, or cut it in half, I'm going to get 196. Now, if I take that number and divide that by two again, I'm now going to get a 98. Then if I divide that by two one more time, I'm now going to get a 49. So therefore, the number 392 is indeed divisible by eight. Now let's go and take a look at the last one. Obviously, we have our three digits. Our last three digits are not zero, 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 right? So again, what we want to be able to do is determine, can I divide this by two three times? So let's go ahead and divide this by two one time. I take 1,364, divide that by two, I'm going to get a 682. When I divide it by two again, now I'm gonna get a 341. Now again, I'm looking for dividing by two two times, right? Or two cubed, which would be eight. In this case, I cannot divide 341 divided by two because it is going to be a odd number based on the last digit. So therefore, I can only divide this by two twice. So therefore, 1,364 is not divisible by eight.